Hello everyone, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to share a code snippet that I just published a few minutes ago. It has to do with only showing content based on a user's role. And uh, this was brought about as I'm working on Starter Site 4, which is going to incorporate WooCommerce product vendors. I wanted to hide certain content from from all other user roles except for those that are held by product vendors. Um, so today we're gonna we're gonna look at the code snippet. We're gonna look at WooCommerce product vendors uh, a little bit and Starter Site 4 a little bit. So a few things to cover here uh, on the My Listing Club website. If you go under Menu and uh, our resources you'll find our guides and our code snippets I've already got those tabs pulled up here for us so under code snippets this is the code snippet right here that was just published today show content based on role and it's pretty easy stuff I think I've documented it pretty well um, you know some instructions on how to use it um, and then I've given a couple examples if you wanted to add um, additional roles, like what that would look like, and just follow the pattern, how you would change the code. It's really simple. And then I give an example of how you could use, how I'm using this on Starter Site 4 right now. You can just you know, copy this snippet and paste it into your site if you want. Um, this, is a, this is exactly what's on Starter Site 4 right now. And what this is doing is it's showing content based on the role. We are creating a CSS class and um, at the bottom here this is the CSS class we are creating show by role. Okay, um, This line right here 15 is saying if they hold the WooCommerce product vendors vendor admin role or vendor manager role we're going to show any con that content using this, um, this CSS. So in short, you place the CSS class that's highlighted here into an element and it's only going to show for the roles defined in this code snippet. So pretty cool stuff. Avoids you having to use a plugin. Uh, with that in mind, let's switch over to the guides. Um, do a quick search for vendors. So I've just updated this in the past uh, 24 hours as I'm working through Starter Site 4. Um, specifically in here, uh, I talk about hiding the registration form. And this one is a different code snippet. This is a more, uh, this, this, this is a different code snippet altogether. Um, won't go too much into it. Basically, it's the same kind of principle. If you if you put this um, CSS class right here, hide if logged out, it's going to hide um, that element from from users of your site that are not logged in. Okay, um, so go back here. So that was one of the changes in the guide. Scrolling on down. Vendor dashboard endpoint visibility. Um, prior to this morning, I had this section right here with, 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 which uses the nav menu rules plugin. Uh, great simple plugin. But as I highlight here, for those that don't need the other functionality of that plugin or just want to limit your plugin use in general, that's why this code snippet was created. So if you're in the guide and you click on the, this link, you'll get back to this code snippet. Okay, and I'll show you all this in action. So you get a better sense of what's what's going on. Okay, so let's just go ahead and minimize these. So where do we start here? Okay, so here's our code snippet. Uh, we use the free code snippets plugin. This guy right here, awesome free plugin. Um, so highly recommend that. So this these are our snippets that are added. To the plugin, and here it's find find our snippet. 
There we go. Show content based on roles. So we're just going to edit that. So as you can see, it's the same exact snippet I showed you. And what's cool is if you screw something up in the syntax as you're working on these, then the plugin allows you just to back up and make changes without locking you out of your site. So really cool stuff. Um, okay, so we got the snippet in place. And as I mentioned, we have to add the show by role CSS class to the elements that we want to hide. So in our menu, we have the vendor dashboard endpoint. So we've added our CSS class there. And to expose that CSS class, when you have your menu open in WordPress, just go to Screen Options and tick on this CSS Classes button. And then this, this box will appear. Add that, save your menu. So now we have our code snippet in place. We have our CSS class added to the vendor dashboard menu item. Um, now we look at our test user here. Um, our users by default get the subscriber role as seen here. And uh, we are all set to test this out. So now I'm going to pull up starter site 4. We're going to log in as our test user. Up here in our menu, these, uh, these are the, the users the users menu, if you will, uh, also known as the WooCommerce endpoints. So as you can see here, this test user is just a subscriber, so they shouldn't see anything that has to do with the vendor dashboard. They're not a vendor yet. And we also don't want this, um, well, this is a different topic altogether, but let's just focus on this one for now. Uh, the vendor registration is what I was gonna talk about real quick, but that's, that's a bit separate. Okay, so here we see that the vendor dashboard is missing or not showing on purpose. That's great. Um, that also keeps people with you know, bad intentions that haven't logged into your site, you know, from somehow getting to that, um, through the menu and whatnot. Um, all right, so we're go, let's go back into the back end here. Let's just change this. These are the two roles that will unlock that endpoint. So now we assigned one of the manager to that user. We'll just refresh our page. Go back under the user menu. There's our vendor dashboard. So this user is not actually registered to be a vendor. That's why this looks kind of vanilla, like there's nothing in it. Um, but as you can see, we've exposed that. And let's go back into the back end. Let's change that to vendor admin. back to at four, refresh the page. There we go, there's our vendor dashboard. Okay, let's go back. Let's change this back to subscriber. There it is, it's gone. So another fun test, you know, uh, and just change it to anything else. How about editor? Yeah, it's gone. So, pretty cool stuff. I mean, so now you've got the power to add that CSS class, show by role, anywhere you want to, you know, limit the content based on the user's roles without using a plugin. So, really cool stuff. Uh, hope you find this useful and um, talk to you soon. Bye.